Hello, I would like to say it's morning, but it's 1.43 in the afternoon and we're just getting ready to go. It's been a really slow morning, but I thought that I would record our whole weekend and probably tomorrow for like a weekend vlog. And I thought it would be fun to show how much money it costs to live in Switzerland. Tonight we're going to a thing called Olma. I'm not really sure what it is. I think it's a farmer's convention or market or something like that, like for farmers. They have a bunch of stuff there that's cool for everyone. I don't know, I've never been there, so I don't know. We're gonna see what it's about and I thought I would show how much money we're spending in case you were interested in how expensive it is to live in Switzerland. I'm just gonna quickly put my makeup on and I thought that I would pull a card today from the Power of Thought cards because they're really fun and it just helps me feel better about myself. So I'm just gonna pick a card really quick. I release all fears and doubts. I accept myself and create peace in my mind and heart. I now choose to free myself from all destructive fears and doubts. I am loved and I am safe. So there it is, that's my card for today. It's kind of hard to remember. I have to, it helps to write it down, but I'm just gonna try to remember today. We made it on the train, we were running. We rode the bike together and then we ran for our lives, but we got it. And we're ready to go party. It's not hard. It's not? So can we get drunk? Yeah, you can actually. Okay, that's good. I took the train because I wanted to get lit without having to drive. I took the train because I wanted to find a parking. Last year, we drove to the event. We drove around like four times and we kept getting lost and having to go on the freeway and turning back around. I think yeah. we did that for like an hour or maybe more and we were like, it's not worth it, it's not worth it. So this time we're taking the train, we're not driving, so we don't have to deal with the really bad parking situation. I'm starving because I haven't really eaten today. I mean, I, I did eat breakfast, but a long time ago. So this is the food street. Let's go. That looks, that looks, oh fuck, that burrito looks so good. How much did you spend on the, to get here from your train ticket? Nine dollars. Nine dollars to get here? Yeah, it's not that bad. Okay. I'm going on wine number two, because I'm ready. I'm ready to see where the night takes us. Are you? You're gonna have okay, so we're both gonna drink another alcohol. The best part about Europe is that you can drink anywhere. In the train, on the street, doesn't matter. And you have to look in their eyes or it's bad sex for seven years. It's really hot, but it's good. It's good. Really so if we wait for 40 minutes, then we can get an Abendskarte, which means it's cheaper. So we only pay 13 francs. So we're just gonna eat first, and then we're gonna go in. There she is. I just paid 15 francs for this curry. It's pretty good. It's actually kind of cheap here at Oma, which I know 15 francs for this is like in American standards expensive. But in Switzerland, that's pretty cheap, I think. Okay, so if we were to do a regular day pass for Oma, it would be 18 francs, but since we're gonna wait until five o'clock, it's gonna be 13 francs. So we're saving $5 each, so we're saving a total of $10 because we're waiting until five. We have about 35 more minutes until it's five, so we're just gonna hang out, eat, and then we're gonna go. How much does this cost? $8. Okay, so this costs eight francs. If so, we still have time, so I think we should get another wine and more food. We're going in for drink number three. The only thing that really sucks is that it's pouring rain, but it's kind of a vibe. Here they keep a tax on your drink, so when you return it, they give you your money back.
kind of sad. We just ate those pigs. It's so look at that. Or a chicken? The pigs are so cute. You heard her. I just bought this hat and these are so warm. So now I will be warm the whole winter. better now it was like it was too much it was so crowded it was way too crowded i couldn't breathe or think or see or do anything back with the vlog last night my camera ended up dying so we didn't really finish the vlog we did the five o'clock and later tickets which were cheaper but ended up being not worth it because it closed at six and we thought that it closed at eight so we thought we'd have three hours and we ended up only having one so it just wasn't like if you ever go definitely get the $18 tickets and just pay the extra five dollars because five francs per person because we ended up not really getting to see anything that we wanted to see and towards the end it was so chaotic like we couldn't even move because we were trying to navigate through this huge group of people and it was just really chaotic it was fun but it like just go during the day if you can i don't know exactly how much we spent but i'm going to total all of it up today so you guys can see everything that we paid for but this morning we're going to pick up a tv stand that we bought Noah actually got it at an auction so or not like an online auction so he paid only 10 francs for it and it's really really big and i don't know how we're gonna fit it into the car like it's a mystery to me but Nello is sure that he will make it happen. So we're gonna drive to a place called Rappersville, which is kind of further down than Zurich. And it's really beautiful. So I'm excited to show you the mountains and the lake and everything that's right next to it. For now, we're eating breakfast. It's, oh, I don't have my watch. What time is it? Uh, it's 11, 11, 11, make a wish. And we're just now getting out of the house and eating breakfast. Nello got a um, really large sandwich. How much was it? 6.20. It is pretty big. Okay, I got this sandwich for 6.95. So actually, the sandwiches were this. Mine was more expensive. Our favorite chips ever, which are Inferno. For some reason, Switzerland is obsessed with paprika flavored stuff, and these are not paprika. These were 3.10 for the big bag. The small bag was 150, but it has like five chips inside. Nello got some chocolate bread. Okay, so 180 each. And lastly, I got this chocolate cold latte. It's actually so good, but it, it's probably really bad for you. It has so much sugar. And this was 360 francs. So in total, it was 23.45, which translates to 26.35 in US dollars. So that's what we have for our breakfast and our lunch. At, well, breakfast, lunch. But I feel like it's kind of a lot of food that we got. I mean, like, normally you would pay 40 to 60 to 80 dollars for a meal if you were to go out and eat, so. That's what we got. And now we're gonna go head to Rappersville and get our table. Okay, we made it to the town. Where are we actually? We're not in Rappersville, are we? Lachen. We're in a town called Lachen. 
It's really beautiful. There's a lake. We went to the place where we were going to get the TV stand and it was, well, first of all, it was really ugly. And second of all, it was only 10 francs. And third, it was not, it was not going to fit in this little car. There is no way that it would have fit in our car. It would. He's going to show us how it would have fit. It, it wouldn't have fit. This is boy math. Like this. That. Okay, all good. Then we can put some rest up on top of here. Perfect. It would have fit. Anyways, I'm glad we didn't buy it because it wouldn't have fit in the car. <laughs> but we're here in this really nice place. We drove a really long way to get here, so we're gonna enjoy the the day. Now that we have driven all this way for nothing, mm -mm. we're not in Rappersville, we're close to Rappersville yeah. and we're gonna go. They have a castle and then um, I guess check out the town and see what it's about. And then we're going to a place called Euchre Farms, which is like, we went last fall and it was pretty cool. They have, I think it's free entrance to get in and then all you have to do is pay for parking. How much should we pay for parking here? Right now? Yeah. Nothing. Oh, okay. So you just have to pay for parking and then if you want to buy food or a pumpkin or anything like that, then you pay. But it's actually cool because it's free to get in, so that's nice. And it's really beautiful. They have a bunch of different sculptures made out of pumpkins and, and all that kind of thing. And like soup and fries and everything. Like so much stuff made out of pumpkins. So it's really cool and I'm excited to show you guys. This is the castle in Rappersville. It's Sunday, so we weren't expecting to see a lot of people, but there are hella people over there. Oh, it is Marathon. We got so lucky and got the last parking spot in the parking garage, and a bunch of cars came out now, and they're all looking for spots. So we're in Rappersville and we came across like a marathon or something. I don't really know what's going on, but there's a lot of people here and I think it might be over, but um, everybody's eating and there's music playing and they're giving awards out. So it's really cool. The view is insane. There's a castle in this town. So we're going to try to find it and go up and see a little bit. And then we're going to go to Yucca Farms after we're done here. We think we found the entrance, but since there's a marathon, it was blocked off. So we might be I think doing illegal activities right now, but I think it's gonna be okay. Boo. There's my car, I gotta go, bye. Bye. Hello, this is the most amazing ring I've ever seen in my life. Insane. Gorgeous, one of a kind. Never seen anything like it. That was a ring of my dreams, and when I'm a millionaire, I will be back to that shop to get that ring. Because it was gorgeous. Hey, two francs for that parking, that's pretty good. We're here at Yucca Farm. It costs $10 to park, which is different from last year. We'll see if it's still free admission. Well, it's a 20 minute walk by foot to the farm from the parking lot. So we're gonna park really quick and then walk to the farms and I'll show you what it looks like when we get there. Just a warning for those coming here, the walk up is intense. My legs, it's a workout for sure. Okay, we're almost to the top. This is not 
for the week. Oh, oh God, it keeps going up. We made it. Well, we almost made it, but now we have a long walkway. What would you call this? Oh, this is pretty. Person, but the mountains, crazy. Just spotted Lord Farquaad from Shrek riding on a horse. Okay, so this is what we got. This is an apple strudel. What is that? Pumpkin pie, something? Yeah. Pumpkin and we have pumpkin pie. soup, bread, and this drink. And all of this was 20 francs. 23 francs, which is really good because I paid 25.50 for the fries and the drinks earlier. So, really good. The soup is really good. The pie is also really good. The pie? Is it pie? Is it's it sweet? It's like pie, it's sweet, but it's also like eggy. You don't like it? No. I told you it's not really a pie, it's like a... It's more like a meal. That's really, really gross. Whoever decided to make that should go to prison. But the soup is great. So there's a labyrinth. Last time they gave us like little bows or something. And then when you get to the end of the labyrinth, then you... We, last time, took our little bow. We didn't have a bow, we used a hair tie. And then we made a little promise to each other and tied it to the tree. Do you remember the promise? I don't remember the promise. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. To get into the mazes and the labyrinth here, it costs six francs each. You can pay with twint or I think cash. So now we're just gonna make our way through the labyrinth and then hopefully to the maze after this. And then we're gonna go home. Switzerland is really expensive, but if you find something that's free to get in and preferably free parking, it's actually super good. But last year they had like more statues. Or... True, last year I think it was a little better, but I feel like we sat more and enjoyed it more this year. Bye cows. We had a really long day today, I feel like. I'm glad we went to Euchre Farms though because that, that was that was a cool thing. And if you're ever visiting Switzerland during this time of year, I think that that's definitely a good place to go and take your kids. And it's not so expensive as Switzerland can be. So I think it's a good option. I think we're probably just gonna call it good for tonight. And we had a good day, right? Yeah, it was fun. So for the whole entire weekend, I think we did spend kind of a lot of money. I, I'll have to add it up later, but we had fun. And if you're coming on vacation to Switzerland, then you should probably prepare to be spending quite a lot of money. Um, it's definitely not the cheapest country in the world, but I definitely think it's worth it. So don't don't be afraid to come to Switzerland just because of the expensive prices because I think it's something that you won't want to miss. I think that it's worth all of your money. <laughs> Switzerland will bleed you dry, but it's fine. <laughs> <laughs>